I'm Missy Howard and thank you for tuning into the Trucker Barbie channel. Today I wanted to talk about trucking and mental health. I'm not a mental health professional, but I am a truck driver and I've been on the road now for about four years. And what I can tell you is trucking can really attract some very odd people, some very toxic personalities. And um, you're going to need to um, keep this in mind when you decide to go to trucking school and or team drive. Um, you're sometimes going to have problems with people who have mental issues. And that is just a fact. Truckers spend a lot of time alone and they spend a lot of time in their own head and they spend a lot of time behind the wheel and while they're driving they're thinking about things uh, past events and things like that and uh, it's really not that healthy for anybody sometimes to be in this situation as a truck driver um, most of the people like I said that you won't get along with most of the time will be like instructors and team drivers um, they can really be quite a nuisance sometimes and they can also be a source of frustration, depression, anger, and so on. And uh, what you have to remember is a lot of times, especially with instructors and team drivers, is the situation is going to be temporary most likely. It's not going to be somebody you're going to be with for a long time in most cases because in most cases people don't get along for very long. Okay, team driving for instance, and even uh, living on a truck with an instructor is very unnatural. It's like locking two people in a bathroom on wheels and saying, okay, you two get along. Okay? And when they can't get along, it doesn't mean that either one of them is bad or both of them are bad or whatever. It just means that they're caught in a situation that really isn't natural. Okay, uh, some people can't even team with their own spouse or their own brother or sister or people that they previously got along with before like their best friend and then they get on a truck and they can't get along and they can't team. You've got to keep all these things in mind. Everybody doesn't have the same work ethic. Um, everybody doesn't have the same views and uh, opinions on how things should be done. So, like I said, keep these things in mind and if you've had the misfortune of not being able to get along with people in your industry or in the trucking industry in particular. Um, it's really not healthy to harbor ill will. Um, everybody probably will do that for a little while when they've been through a bad experience with an instructor or a team driver or something like that. But the best thing to do is as quickly as possible put it behind you, okay? Um, forgive and forget. Um, just try to, uh, whatever they did to you, just put it behind you and uh, move on with your life. It will, it will bring you peace, it will give you more mental stability, and it will help you, um, you know, just live your life better to not harbor hate and anger and things like that. And, you know, wish them well. You know, don't delight, you know, if you hear that they're having a hard time or uh, that something bad happened to them or whatever. Uh, like I said, really and truly dig deep down into your heart and find a way to make peace and uh, just maybe even pray for the person if you're a praying person. Uh, pray for your enemies. You know, that's what the Bible says. Uh, everybody doesn't want to do that. And it's one of the hardest things to do, to want to wish well or pray for somebody who went for your throat, usually for no reason at all. Um, you've just got to let that stuff go so that good karma can come your way, so that positive experiences can come your way. So, like I said, when you find yourself in a situation where you can't get along with somebody, just get away from them, okay? Just uh, find a new instructor, find a new team driver. Uh, do something, make a change, and just wish the person well, and hope that they succeed, and hope that you succeed, and it will be more beneficial for your mental health and bring you inner peace. Um, it's really not healthy, like I said, to harbor ill will and anger and hatred towards someone who has done or said something 
to harm you or try to harm you. Anyway, I wish all of you well, and um, I appreciate you watching this video and tuning into my channel. And uh, safe travels, and be blessed. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.